Sorry, sorry, sorry, sorry. Now I have to be quick before I get into trouble. Mustafa. Mustafa. Big boss. Big boss. Ah. <laughs> Man, this is really good. Okay, one. Money. Money. What a nice kebab. Welcome guys. Big to here. Same thing but different. And today we are in Turkey. Turkey, Istanbul. Turkey, Turkey. It depends on you know how you want to pronounce it, but officially now it's Turkey. It's not anymore Turkey. They changed the uh, even the spelling of the of the name of the country, which is not Turkey as the Turkey, right? The little bird. <laughs> it's Turkey with Y E. And before I introduce myself and the video of today let me eat this nice kebab before this little cat <laughs> attacks me i can see you yeah little sneaky cat no no no no no no i can see you boy i can see you i can see you i actually asked for a kebab i thought it would be like a dinner kebab with the pita but they gave me the meat the fries tomato the pita the seasoning and the yogurt all separate which is interesting and again this little cat is getting dangerously close to me no no no no no bro brother brother i can see you there you go mmm it's actually amazing oh now we have a second cat Yeah, actually, an interesting thing, you'll see it today in the video, but Turkey, and especially Istanbul, mmm, with yogurt, it's full of cats. They love cats here, which is nice, which is cool, right? But let me eat in peace. Shh. Those cats are very, very sneaky. They're waiting for me. Now, those two cats will fight each other so they can have, you know, the spot next to me so I can finish my meal and give them some food at the end. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's a fight. Shh. I'll be nice to you, but I'm not going to give you some food. Maybe at the end. Mm. Mm. Okay, so for today I was thinking that I'll take a little break from crazy challenges, crazy adventures, and then just discover the city without running, without rushing, without, you know, setting myself some crazy goal. Just take you along the ride, show you a little bit, the sights, the food, the people. And if it turns out that you guys prefer, or you like those kind of videos where it's just more chill, then I might do more of those. As I finished my lunch, little cat disappeared. <clears throat> and he could have gotten this little bite, but he wasn't patient. And that's what happens to people that are not patient. Patience, those who wait, get anyway. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got a, a big program, big program. I'm a bit, maybe way too chill, way too chill. But don't worry, I'll show you as much as possible of Istanbul. Let's go. Man, it's late April, but it's so busy, it's so packed. Like, look at that. Insane, insane. And look at the huge queues. Rest assured, I'm not gonna go inside today. I've already visited those places in the past, so I don't feel the need to actually visit them again, but I'll still give you some info about those places. But yeah, I think you should actually come to Istanbul a bit earlier than April because it's, it's already packed. I mean, look at that. So here we have the Blue Mosque. Very, very impressive. I don't know if you can see, like, you, you can get the scale of it, but it's huge. Today, I'll be actually uh, avoiding the tourists, the tsunami of tourists. How? Well, by going to two neighborhoods where actually almost no tourist ever goes. It's the infamous most dangerous hoods, neighborhoods of Istanbul, of Taglabasi and Dolabdere. And um, what I'm gonna try to do today is to actually get a haircut because uh, I cannot film 
the next videos with this haircut and it's actually even warm and hot late april and uh yeah it's it's it's awful looking awful i have to to get a local nice turkish haircut i'm not gonna go to the touristic places the monuments the places like the blue mosque because again the, the, the, the queues are huge you can't see it but like there's huge two to three to four hour queues and i just showed you blue mosque which is one of the biggest in istanbul the city with the most mosques in the world it has roughly around 3,000 mosques or uh, 16 million inhabitants let me just talk to you about the very nice beautiful Hagia Sophia which is right there next to us so just to give you a little bit of info about Istanbul Istanbul essentially used to be called Constantinople and it's a city that's situated between Asia and Europe it's actually the only city in the world to be on both continents on two continents at the same time Europe and Asia and so Constantinople was a city that was occupied by three different empires you had the Roman Empire then you had the Byzantine Empire and then you had the Ottoman Empire this is the reason why you would see a mix of cultures of architectures in Istanbul and so Hagia Sophia essentially is the embodiment of this because it used to be a cathedral it used to be one of the biggest cathedrals in the world it was built in 537 AD if I'm correct and so it was originally a cathedral a Christian cathedral and then the Byzantines and the Ottomans transformed it and so here you have some a mix of uh, Roman well Christian Byzantine and Ottoman architecture and then it was converted into a mosque today it's a museum you can see the foundations of the cathedral and then they added the minarets you know the uh, distinctive architectural elements of uh, mosques after this little historical lesson i'm gonna now go into the heart of istanbul and see what it's like to live here and just try to meet the people right always so yeah i actually came here in istanbul uh, 10 years ago with my family i actually loved it i had to come back here because because there's always more to explore and here well now the couple of days i'll be spending here will not be about the monuments and the sites but it'll be more about the people as usual as you know on my channel same same different i surely uh, visit places for the architecture the beauty the history the culture but the most important thing i want to actually capture on camera is humans is the locals the people that live in the places i visit so today we'll see if the two neighborhoods that are called the most dangerous of istanbul hold nice and cool people i actually think that in this in those two neighborhoods i'll find very kind and generous people so let's see let's hope everything goes well today i get a nice haircut and spend a good time with some turkish people and um we'll see if those two neighborhoods are as bad as people describe them to be let's go this city is chaos <laughs> after like a couple hours walking here i feel so exhausted so busy one thing i noticed is that in istanbul it's full of turkish flags boom one two three there's a fourth one behind five six <laughs> it's full of turkish flags which is cool you know like they're proud of their country but it's a bit too much isn't it another huge turkish flag on the main square taksim square mm, look at those kebabs yeah this is but how about uh, kebab yeah you, ciao. Ciao. so i've actually learned that durum means rolled kebab is the name of the the sliced meat but if you want to have a kebab that's rolled in in, in like a pizza it's a durum so durum kebab mm. good this is the most commercial touristic pedestrian walk so we're still in, in touristic territory right safe territory soon enough we'll get to the <laughs> more dangerous less you know busy part of the the city mm. Mm. the one thing i must say is um i've had many kebabs in my life the difference the main difference with the ones in turkey is the meat the meat is insane i think this is why it's the best here because the meat is just high quality amazing meat there we have the touristic pedestrian walk and then that's where we're going and this is a little taste 
of what's to come. What I read about the place is that many, many, many buildings like that are abandoned, old buildings. And some people actually live in those abandoned buildings. Here we go. Talabasi. Sorry if I mispronounced it. It's not Talabasi, it's Talabashi. Yeah, yeah as I told you. Abandoned little houses and they still live in them. That's a very interesting aspect of Talabashi. Yeah, abandoned, abandoned. To use my camera in this area. Yeah, let's get out of this area. Hey, how are you? Hey, barber? Yeah, good. Good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Arab boy, machine. Taxi. Okay. Yeah. Ulash. Ulash. Ulash. Ah, okay, okay. Come on. Two Arab. Teşekkür. Ulash. Come on. Ulash. Ulash. Okay. Teşekkür. Teşekkür. Ulash. Ciao. Gule gule. Merhaba. Better, better. Possible? Good? Yeah. yeah? Good. Okay. Your name? Ahmed. Ahmed. Victor. Victor. Oh, you know what? Special Istanbul record. Turkish record. Turkish record? <laughs> Special, yeah. Wow. You decide. Uh, people say Talabashi uh, bad, uh, dangerous. No, Talabashi good, no? Talabashi good. How old are you? How old are you? Last year, uh, ah, uh, 18? 18. 18. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, you, you cut? Mm. He cuts too? No? Mm. How, how old? How old are you? 12. 1, 2, 12. Yes. Ah, so he knows how to cut hair? No. Not yet. He's learning. Do you want to try on me? <laughs> Look at this disaster. It's horrible. <laughs> Like this? Yes. Turkish, Istanbul. <laughs> yes. Nice. No, it's perfect. It's really good. High quality. Ciao. Ciao. Man, it was actually so nice. It was so fresh right now. I feel like a local now. Yeah, now let's just try to get like a little coffee, a little shisha somewhere here.
little fight, yeah? I'm gonna have a, a cava, good cava? Cafe. Cava. Cava. Cafe. Where? You? Come, come. Come, come. Come, come. Where? Where? Cafe, cafe. Camera? No? Okay, okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Oh shit. Just got told off by a guy to just leave. There's bad areas. Anyone you go. Now I have to be quick to leave this area before I get into trouble. But yeah, as you as you could see, most of the people were quite chill. But this guy wasn't chill. And when you can't speak the language, that's even worse. Because actually, I, I was thinking like, he's trying to like give me direction, but no, he was telling me to shut the camera off. All right, where's my coffee, yeah? Coffee? Yeah? No? Ah, chai? Yeah? Okay. Merhaba. Nasil Gijor. Nasil Gijor? Victor. You? Ismail. Ismail. Ismail, you? Aiser. Aiser. This is like a little uh, canteen. They also make food. So I'll get some uh, Turkish tea. Uh -huh. Sugar. One, okay. one, one is good. Okay, so yeah. Traditional here in Turkey, they, they drink a lot of tea. I was trying to get a coffee, but I'll get a tea. Reportage. Si, showing people Turkey, Istanbul, the people nice, you know. <laughs> Uh, Turkey, very good, very good. Bulgaria, Bulgaria, Bulgaria, Bulgaria. Bu Turk, friends, friends, good. No? Bulgaria, Greece, Turkey, Balkan, Balkan, Balkan friends, yeah. Bulgarians, Turks, Greece, like Greeks, are friends. Like he's saying that there's peace between you know countries. Okay, Bulgaria, I, I, Turkey, friend, yeah. Good, good, good, good, good relationship, yeah, between both Bulgarians and, and Turks. Oh, your son? University. University, ah, okay. But university only. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, so he's saying that his family uh, has gone to Germany, Ireland, France to study or to live abroad. He has many tourists that come here as well. That's what I got from what he said, maybe I'm wrong. Um, How much? Huh? Mm. Okay, at least uh, a one water. One. Mm. Teşekkür. Yeah? Teşekkür, tamam. okay. Teşekkür, teşekkür. Thank you, Mary Bacha. Teşekkür, İsmail. İngilizce pek bilmiyoruz, yani ondan diyorum. Hani teşekkür ediyoruz. Yani İngilizce no, hani böyle de İngilizce. I don't understand. <laughs> İsmail. <laughs> teşekkür. E, güle güle, güle güle. İyi günler. Günler. İyi günler. İyi günler. İyi günler. Yani güzel günler, iyi günler. I don't understand. Gide gide öğreniyor insan. I try to understand you. Yeah, I try. <laughs> uh, Ciao. It's very hard to like get understood and understand what they say. And as I say that, the police is trying to get into Taglabashi, <laughs> patrolling right the area. You know what? If the police goes that way, then I should go that way as well. It's a sign. It's a sign. But yeah, it's uh, it's a shame I don't have a, a someone with me that can actually translate what this guy was saying to me. It's mile. I'm gonna try actually for the next countries, next videos, whenever I can to have someone with me, a local, with whom I can actually talk in English and get you know translated the, what the locals are saying to me. Because that's actually the biggest issue I have, you know, when I do when I travel to those countries where I want to actually connect with the locals. I want to talk to the locals, but I can't. So I do my best miming and gesturing and showing what I mean with my hands. Uno. Wow. And how about, wow. Wow, hey, you eat? A, a restaurant? What? Now this? <laughs> you? Mm. Damn. Mm. So, 
So, rice, rice, rice, rice. Man, this is really good. Okay, one mussel with uh, with the rice. People. Mm. You have a restaurant? Restaurant? Yeah. Wow. Tishikur. Tishikur. And I have a show. Wow. Just had some random mussels. Mm. And I have a, a cafe. Cafe? Yes. Yeah? Come on. Uh, two cafes. Victor. Victor. You? Um, my name is Richard. You look my grandmother. Grandmother. Anne. Anne. My granny. Anne. Another. <laughs> Nasil Gijor. Inshallah. Mashallah. Inshallah. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> smoke, smoke. No, no good. It's no good. No. No good. A li okay, little bit. <laughs> Uh, you have family, family, mm -hmm. kids, the kids, boy, boy, boy, Benin. uh huh, one. ah, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, four boys, okay, okay, okay, ah, old, yeah, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see, big, big, big, big, ah. me, me, very big, very big. No? Big? Bigger than me? Wow, she has four sons bigger than me. <laughs> 47. Ah, okay. Boy, boy. Okay, okay, okay, okay, okay, okay. So you have one son, he's 47. You're 67? Yeah. Nice. Istanbul, uh, very good. Uh, Taralagashi, good. Taralagashi, yeah, good. So people say dangerous. Dangerous. No dangerous. No, it's good. Dolabdere? Uh, good, no? Problem. No? Problem. Problem. Yeah. Ah. Te shikre derem. Good deal. Truko kave, ah? Good. Nice. You, uh, shisha, huka? Shisha? Shisha, huka? Huka, huka. Shisha. No, no, no, no, no. Hey, like, nargile. Nargile, nargile. No, yo, yo. <laughs> Me want to go to Nargile. Where? Where? Here, yeah, Nargile. Here? Here? Do you have No. Do you have Problem. <laughs> She's saying that the, the next neighborhood, do you is, is, is bad. Yeah. Problem. So we'll see how bad it is. <laughs> okay. Well, let's try this Turkish coffee now. Nice, no, too hot. Uh, no, too hot, too hot, hot. <sighs> Ah. Hot. Sujak. Sujak. Sujak. Sujak. Sujak. Sujak. Hot. Sujak. Okay. Oof. <laughs> okay, Sujak. Wow. Oh. Strong. Good. Uh, Good but strong, very strong. <laughs> the interesting thing with the Turkish coffee is that it's very um, powdery, very, um, you can feel the, the grains of, of, um, of coffee. I don't know exactly how they make it, but when you drink it, at the end there's a paste, I'll show you the paste that stays. It's a very strong coffee. YouTube, video, video, yeah. Video, yeah. video. Showing Istanbul, people, people say, I look Turkish. I mean, look Turkish. Yeah, <laughs> I look Turkish. Football, football yeah, football. Uh, Turkish. Galatasaray. Galatasaray, no? Good. Ah, Bakshi. Ah, you, you Galatasaray? Yes. And I'm Bakshi. Bakshi, Bakshi. So, Bakshi. Champion. Champion. Yeah. If Bakshi is the... Fenerbahce, I'm a big champion. Champion. <laughs> champion. I got the champion. No champion. <laughs> We're fighting over who has the best team. Uh, Galatasaray. Galatasaray is the best. Champion. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I can, I can taste the, um, the sand powder. You can see the powder here. The paste. Yeah. yeah. So this is why they need to actually drink water when they drink coffee. Yeah, well, if you twist it like this, you can see how it stays. It's the paste. 
Ah. Oh, so when you're done, you just put it like this. Ah. Okay. So you can see how thick it is. See? Turkish coffee. Yeah. Yeah. I said to her that she really reminds me of my grandmother because she's really kind. Good or bad? <laughs> so now she's going to read the cup. So she's going to tell me if my future looks bright or not. <laughs> uh, çok büyük. Çok büyük para gelecek sana. Oh, okay. <laughs> so she said I will have loads of money. <laughs> okay. Bir akçıkta at. Ne diliyorsan o olacak. What? <laughs> I'll get one or two horses, so I might, I might get rich very soon. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Wow. Okay. I have a long way to go. And once I get there, I'll be very happy. Which means I have a very long way to go, guys. But it's, believe, believe, have faith, it's gonna happen. We're, we're, getting, we're getting there, yeah? <laughs> wow, that's... She just said that my heart is very pure and God will give me whatever I want. As long as my intentions are, are good. Okay, well. So basically, I'll get, I'll be rich someday. And it's still a long way to, to get there. But once I get there, I'll be very happy. And whatever I want in life, I'll get it. As long as, as I you know, have good intentions and oh, oh, my heart is pure. That's what she just read in this little cup. And as I said in the, in the beginning, she reminds me a lot of my grandmother because she actually looks like her, she's very kind like her. And actually my grandmother, she used to, um, to, to read actually my, my uh, cups of, uh, of coffee when I was a kid. So that's a very, very uh, touching experience. Huh? Very good, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ederim. Uh, it was a real pleasure meeting you. You are an amazing person. Thank you for the time spent with you today. Uh, inshallah. Ami. Ciao, Lucien. Ciao, man. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Wow. This was one of the most beautiful encounters I've had in a very long time. So yeah, anyway, and she was saying that Dola Dere, the other area where I'm going to try to go now, is problematic and there's issues. We'll see, we'll see. I still want to try a shisha, a hookah, nargile, as they say here. For those of you who don't know what a shisha is, it's essentially a... How to describe it? I'm not an expert, so I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, just check out what a, what a shisha is and uh, you'll see. I'll try to smoke it today. I don't like shisha that much. Like I've, I've smoked it a couple times in the past, but here, you know, this should be the best shisha in the world, in this country. So this is what I have to actually try. And if possible with locals, right? To have the uh, real experience. Dolabdere, let's go. Bad neighborhood number two. Damn. Look at that house, man. Yeah, merhaba. You good? 
Oh, camera? Camera, yeah. YouTube. YouTube. YouTube. YouTube. YouTube. Adana. Adana. Adana. Adana. Ah. This is big, man. Big, big. Takip edeceğiz. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Turkey, Istanbul. <laughs> oh. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Subscribe. Like. Subscribe. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. Like. It's cut in half. They have little houses for cats on the street. Little boxes and with food as well. Merhaba. What's this? A metal. A metal. Metal. What? This. Ah. So you ask people to give you this? Evet, evet. You? Money? This? 200. Ah. Şu ben göstereyim sana. This? This? Really? Evet. Wow. Çok okay. güzel ama. So 200 for this? Wow. Uh -huh. Okay. Ciao. Thank you. Ciao. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, damn. He's scraping metal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Merhaba. Let's go. <laughs> Oy. YouTube, merhaba, oy, merhaba. Ha? Kamera bak. Kamera ya. Ay bora tercih. Kamu. Hangi kanal? Victor, you. Ne? You, name? Eh, Efe. Efe. Eh mi? Efe. Efe. Money, money. Okay. Money. Money. Eh. Why money? O kadar duduk gelsene money. Money. Money. Evet. Why? Hey? You know a uh, hookah? Nargile. Ah, there. Send money. Why money? Send money, money, I'll you. If you show me where a nargile is, I'll give you money. Yes. Yeah. Nargile, show Hadi. me. <laughs> oh man. Business, business, yeah. hustling. Nargile. Hustling at a very young age. Nargile, I'll If you show me a good place, nargile place, nargile. I'll give you a little tip. I encourage hustling, you know, it's he, he's finding ways to make money, which is respectable. Salam, merhaba, merhaba. Nargile, nargile, shisha. Where? Nargile, nargile, here? Merhaba. Merhaba, you good? I'm looking for nargile, you got nargile? Bro, this is not nargile. I want nargile, I want like a... Well... We tried to get nargile. Uh, Nargile, good, good place. It... No? Shisha Nargi place? Nargile, Shisha? Nargile, Nargile. Nargile, Nargile. Yeah, I want to try Nargile. <laughs> Best Nargile in Istanbul. Shisha. <laughs> <laughs> Big boss. Big boss, you. Big boss. <laughs> uh, uh, Victor, you? Mustafa. Mustafa. Uh, Mustafa. Uh, Nasil uh, Gidior. Good. Good. Oh, Sen nere? Memleket. Huh? Fransa, Fransa. Fransa, Fransa. Oh, yeah. Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where Trent? <laughs> 30? Nah, you don't look 30. Okay, 20. Maybe with, with Mustafa. Mustafa and Nargile. Nar together. Yeah, oh, Nargile and Nargile. Together? Together, yeah, Mustafa. Para, para. Yeah, pay for the Nargile, yeah. Para, para chok. Para chok. Para we, we smoke it together. Good. Good. Nargile, <laughs> good. But bro, you're too small. You're, you're not. I need to smoke with an adult. Mustafa. Who is him? Arab. Whoa, whoa. Who is him? Arab. Arab. Arab. Arab. Arab. Him, Arab. <laughs> Me, Turkish. Turkish. Me, Turkish. Istanbul. Istanbul good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, good, good. France, good. France, good. France, France. Back. Oi. Back. Oi. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Shisha. Shisha. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile. Nargile.
Let's go, let's go, smoke nargile. Ah? Ah? boys. Ah? Ah? Ah? Crazy encounter, crazy guy. Bro, you drive like crazy, man. You drive crazy, crazy. Right. No, no protection, no protection. Yeah, no. Shit. Bomb. So this is the, the hookah, nargile or shisha. And essentially, you have the tobacco, flavored tobacco, which is the one with chewing gum. And then... Okay, so you just wrote that he's the most dangerous person in this neighborhood, but he's also the, the kindest. Okay. Yeah. You put those little things so you can smoke it. It's actually a weird taste. It's a, I feel like I'm inhaling chewing gum. It's a very good shisha, but I don't like the taste of it. Whoa, this is strong. Yeah, that's the trap with the shishas. It feels easy to smoke and it's like feels soft when you inhale it. But man, it hits. Thank you, brother. Brother, brother. Thank you so much. Brother, thank, thank you. you. Ciao. Say bye. Bye. Ciao. Bye. So, uh, Kamet just left. And now I can officially end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. You could actually see the real Istanbul and not the just the touristic Istanbul. It was an amazing day. With viewpoint encounters. We got rejected twice. We got caught up twice by the guys in the Kalabashi neighborhood, which happened, right? Hope you like also my haircut. <laughs> so let's go. And until the next one, take care. Same, same, different. Ciao. Someone told me that I actually look stupid smoking the shisha like this. You have to smoke it from the base like that. <laughs> By the way, I think I got way overconfident with the shisha. My, like, I, I feel so dizzy right now that this is it, I'm done for today. <laughs> and see you in the next one, let's go.